Hi, and today I want to talk about actually getting your image onto your canvas or your panel or your masonite or paper, whatever you want to paint on. Um, there's been a few things said to me uh, over the last couple of weeks about you know being a proper artist, being able to sketch and then draw it out and you know um, and paint it and go through the process. I've got a couple of people that uh, in my group that um, they can't. Um, draw for love no money but um, as far as their painting skills are concerned they're absolutely brilliant and they can be all leaps and bounds the problem they've got is to actually get the image from a photograph or reference material on the canvas um, there's a couple of different methods um, the first one I want to touch on um, is projector um, I know there's a lot of people go, ooh that's cheating, it's not cheating, let me tell you now, if the um, masters were about the day and they had access to the computers and iPads and printers and projectors, they would use them, there's, there's no two ways about it, um, they did copy it anyway um, and they used tracings and um, managed to keep cartoons aside, they, they took images from paintings to keep for other paintings and they change things about so they use the technology they had to hand and I truly believe if they were here today they would do exactly what everybody else can do with computers and printers and projectors and that type of thing. In my opinion it's not actually cheating to outline an image from a projector and then paint it. Um, if you've got problems with proportions and stuff like this then use the tools to hand because it's not the drawing you're not doing a drawing you're doing a painting and to be able to paint from an outline is a totally different concept to do a pencil drawing or a pastel so i want to show you how to use the projector um, this is how i use it um, and i do use it on occasions i'm not going to lie to you um, it all depends on um, what I'm actually doing and how, uh, how speedy I need to be. So um, I've got all the tools to hand and I use them, you know, whatever makes life easy for me as I've told you in the past. So we start with an image. Now you can, excuse me, just put in my, get in my computer set up. Um, if you want to stand in the field and draw a, a landscape, um, take little notes, that's fine. You know, If you want to stand there with a camera and take a photograph and then come home and process it and then print it out and then put it onto um, tracing paper or scan it through your scanner or project it with a projector, it, whatever works for you. As long as at the end of the day our painting is done and it looks nice, you know, at the end of the day, as I said to you, it's all about um, ease of use and using tools to hand. Okay, so we trawl through the internet, um, we find some paintings or some drawings or something we'd like to draw, um, and then um, we'll get an idea of actually how do we going to get that onto canvas um, or canvas panel or masonite or paper, paper is slightly different because we don't need to be too heavy handed with it but the princi principle is, uh, is, is basically the same so we'll start with printing off the image so once you've loaded your um, image into something like um, Adobe Photoshop or something like that um, unless it's really bad you don't need to tweak it too much um, but I mean if you want to darken it up or lighten it up or adjust the mid-tones then you just go into your level settings and then just until you're happy with the image itself you can then sharpen that up and then what I suggest you do is print it out onto um, an A4 sheet so we'll go on new and then we'll set this as an A4 sheet. I know you can't see what I'm doing but this is not about computers, this is about art. And then just drag and drop that onto that sheet.
and then you could scale that. And what I suggested, you especially with Photoshop, is keep your finger on. Um, let's just transform scale. Keep your finger on the shift button as you drag it, and the proportion will stay true to form. So that's our first A4 print. That's in full colour. And what I also need to do now. Um, and change the page settings, make sure it's going to come out correctly. Center image to check and make sure we've got our photo paper in, and this is a, a glossy photo paper. I wouldn't print on, on, on actual paper itself because you won't get the, the true form and the colors correctly, and then just print that out. Okay, we need a print preview. Just to make sure everything's okay, check if yes, it is a landscape, that's what we need. Go to page setup. A4, that's correct. We go to print. Go into properties. Just make sure we've got to click this best photo and it's going to be printed out on premium glossy paper. And we press OK, and we'll wait for that to print. Now, as we're waiting for that to print, this is an image I've used a lot of, um, especially in um, lessons, etc. So, we'll then go into um, Adjustments. We then go into Mode and Grade Scale. Don't flatten. So, that's going to give us our, our Grade Scale image. They're not too happy with the levels themselves. We just need to tweak it up. And that's going to give all your shadows, highlights, mid tones. And then we print that off in exactly the same way. And I'll show you um, what you need to do then to actually get this to be projected. These two prints are only for painting purposes. Um, to give you a, an idea of the colours and the black and white tones and that type of thing. So this is not actually the image we're going to use for projection at the moment. But I always do a colour and I always do a black and white if I'm going to work from a photograph. So we've got our colour image. And I'll do exactly the same thing now with my black and white. print and we wait for that one to come up. So what I'm going to be using um, to project my image onto uh, my canvas board is the um, Artograph Tracer Projector. Um, it's got a lens, it's got a little light inside and it picks up the image from the base and projects it through the lens and then you can move your canvas back and forth. Now I've worked out that the ideal size photograph um, for that is about five inches by five inches. So what I've done is I put those. I got two images on my computer because I'm going to do another small one. Um, I scaled that down to five inches, and I'm going to print that out now, and then I'll show you what the next stage is going to be then from there on. Okay, so I got my my images prepared. I've got a little 5 inch by 5 inch uh, image of, I've got, I've got some peaches in a bowl, it might be apples by the time I'm finished with them. I've also got a colour print and I've got two grayscale prints. I haven't decided which one I'm going to go by yet, but one slightly lighter than the other as you can see. But um, that's just to establish my mid-tones and my lights and my darks and then I can have a look at there for my reference as far as colour is concerned then. So this is, as I said, this is an image and I painted it many times before so um, if I can find the video on YouTube, um, or YouTube, which I've got on my archive somewhere of me actually painting this, I'll, um, I'll see if I can uh, stick that on YouTube for you. But in the meantime, all I'm interested in is just getting this onto a canvas. I've selected um, a 16 by 12 
canvas board. You can do this on anything, on masonette, cardboard, um, canvas. I just prefer to use um, canvas boards at this present moment in time um, because I sell a lot of my artwork on these. So, but I mean, I personally, I prefer using hardboard. But um, anyway, I digress. So the next thing I need to do now is show you how to get that image onto you by using the, the uh, projector. Okay, setting the tracer up on my little bench, um, what I've done is I've placed the 5x5 the five five image underneath the projector. And then I position my easel with the canvas board on there. So this is allows me to pull it back and forth and to get it into adjustment. To adjust, you just twist this in or out, turn it around, and I'll get your adjustment, your focus for you. And once it's nice and sharp. Okay, what I suggest you do is turn as many lights off as possible and work in as dark an area as is safe. Um, you don't want to go tripping over carpets and that type of thing. And then we can move this back and forth, and we can also play around with the adjustment on the um, on the viewfinder there so to get it into focus and then as soon as we got the image nice and sharp on our canvas board then we can go ahead and uh, start tracing around the image so okay so i'm going to switch the light off and then switch on the projector and then we need to adjust that now if we take these are backwards you can see that the projection gets bigger and the closer we get to the projector the image gets smaller so we just need to adjust that until we are happy with it and then turn in the focus on the projector and we'll get that as sharp as we possibly can and then what we do then we proceed to draw around the image now I'm using a, a HB pencil you use whatever pencil you want but I suggest you don't use anything that's too soft and again you can make this as detailed as you want put as much detail into this as you as you want to well, I'm going to proceed with tracing that out and then we'll show you as it is when it's finished. So looking at our image that we printed out on the um, on the printer um, from the computer, that's a five inch by five inch um, photograph, and then we used the projector and we scaled it up to the size of our canvas. As you can see, it's quite a crude pencil outline, but from that we've got images then that we printed out on a larger scale that we can actually work to one in colour and one in black and white so that's quite an easy way to actually get your image onto your painting surface so I would highly recommend you um, go out and buy uh, a tracing projector um, that particular one uh, in the UK is about £74 um, you can get them on eBay, I think I paid £30 for that one. Um, so if your drawing skills aren't too good, then by all means get yourself a little uh, tracing device. And um, you can use any size image, as long as it fits underneath the area where, the, where it's projected from, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, but I said I've got, I've got no problems with anybody using these devices, because as you can see, 
that's only a crude uh, outline. Um, now to turn that into a painting, that's where the skill is. So um, there is other ways we can get an image onto our painting surface without a projector. And the next uh, video, I'll show you how to do that. Mm -hmm.